Hello, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? This is Force, and today we will be taking a look at Nosgoth. Uh, I just joined this game, and I don't know what is going on. <laughs> oh, I do know what's going on with Nosgoth, but I don't know what's going on with this particular match. I need to blow this guy up, though. There we go. Uh, Nosgoth is set in the Legacy of Kane universe, but it is not a traditional Legacy of Kane game. Not even remotely. Uh, this is a multiplayer competitive ace. I am beasting! Holy, oh boy. Um, this is a multiplayer, competitive, asynchronous, team-based title. What, is, what do all those words mean? Well, <laughs> I hope you know what the words mean, but put together, it means that I, I am on, the, right now, the team of humans. There's a team of humans and a team of vampires. And each side has completely different classes with completely different abilities, things that they can do, different weapons, all of that. They each fill a role. The class that I'm playing right now is known as the, I think it's the alchemist. And it's essentially area of effects. I've got a grenade launcher, basically. I've got a firewall that I can lob on the ground. And I've got a little blind ability. Oh, no, 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 I rolled forward. I swear that should have been able to force a dodge, but apparently no. And now I'm, like, dying here. There we go. Okay, this is going freaking amazingly. And by amazingly, not at all, I mean... Oh, boy, I sure beasted him, though, when it came down to it. Uh, you gotta be careful, because you can damage yourself from your abilities. You won't take damage from your allies' abilities, but, uh, like, my area of effect fire and all that stuff will hurt me. Here's a little healing shrine that will also replenish some ammunition, which is very nice. Uh, when playing on the human team, it is of the utmost importance that you stick together. Vampires are definitely much more keen to keep you guys separated, split you up, and and sort of pick you off one by one, especially these guys. This guy that just mounted my back, he's known as a Reaver, and he really, really likes to get you uh, get you alone. Oh gosh, this guy, he blew my face up. I, I, I'm just surprised to start off this game with a bunch of kills. I think that was absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna play a couple more rounds with the Alchemist here, and then we'll switch over to the other class that's available. Uh, so it's a pretty straightforward, is it 4v3? What a load of crap. Uh, <laughs> all right, someone else joined. It's a pretty straightforward, there's two, pretty straightforward gameplay here. Uh, when you're playing on the humans, it's a third person shooter. When you're playing on the vampires, it's a third person brawler, melee, me what is this guy's not paying attention at all? I gotta reload these suckers one at a time, which is not ideal. Uh, the vampires can climb walls and stuff, the humans cannot. So we want to stick together, cover each other's back as much as possible. Oh, this is not gonna be go well. Yeah, we're dead. I'm gonna try to... Oh, shoot. There's... <laughs> we got completely surrounded. It's because our team was split up. It was me and this one dude, and then we actually managed to secure a kill there. All right, let me switch up a little bit. We're going to switch load out. So we're, we've been playing the Alchemist. We're going to switch to the Hunter just to show you. I've got a Repeater, a Bola, an Explosive Shot, and then this uh, Perk, which is Steadiness, which will help me aim better. Uh, the different classes, there are four different classes per side. I have access to two per side just because I haven't purchased any of the classes. So this will be a free-to-play title. I think you can get, like, tokens... Uh, you can get, like, tokens to unlock classes as you level up your account, basically. But beyond that, you have to use the purchase system. I am mega dead here. Oh. Oh. Well, I, I think I'm still mega dead. Especially since my team is just not hanging out. We're not hanging out together. We're not friend. We're not all friends, apparently, like we should be. Yeah. Yeah, that went about as well as I expected it to. <laughs> now I get my head smashed in by this giant creature thing. Uh, I prefer the alchemist out of the two classes for the humans that I've played. I haven't tried uh, the other two yet though and, and when I do maybe that'll maybe I'll change my mind a little bit but uh, you know this game's it's really been fun to play. Uh, I especially like playing as the vampires. The humans they're all right but the vampires are really really oh gosh the vampires are really that was awesome. The vampires are really really fun to play. Uh, <laughs> because you get to climb walls and do all sorts of crazy stuff. We, need to we really need to stick together, team. We really can't, you can't go solo and whatnot. You really gotta, you really gotta be each other's friends and cover each other's backs and what. Oh, that blew that guy up. Now, so I've got a bola, which I can tie up a vampire with. That's my Q. And then my F is that thing that you just saw me use to destroy people, basically. Uh, it's, oh, shoot. 
This guy just ran me over. What the heck? It's a, uh, it's just a giant explosive. I don't even know what it's called. What is it called? Explosive shot. So it fires the giant incendiary grenades. All right, let's switch back to the alchemist a little bit. Although I, I did have some success there with the hunter. Am I doing the best of my team? I hope not. Oh gosh, this is like my third game. I, I, <laughs> I, do, I did not anticipate to be doing well at all and to be almost at the forefront here. Makes me kind of sad, actually. I, th these guys literally refuse to stick together, though. It's, that makes me especially sad. That guy's dead. You gotta reload this gun one at a time. So yeah, there's different weapons and different abilities that you can get for the different classes. It's not just, you know, I can only use this and that and whatever. Uh, you can switch things up. It is one of those things, though, because it's a free-to-play game, those will be things that you'll have to purchase. Oh, I blew that guy up, but then this guy came up behind me and destroyed me. And then I also got the kill on him! Oh, that makes me feel really, really good. This is going to be a uh, team death match that we're seeing right now. Uh, we have to try to get to 30 kills before the other team, which we are not doing. It looks like we are just going to lose this one. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we... It doesn't seem like we're going to get this... That freaking guy flies. It's super hard to hit him with that thing. And that's, uh, that's the charger class or whatever. They are really annoying. Blinded that guy. There's also my firewall there. I, I'm like out of ammo. I try meleeing him. Although, you don't typically want to melee the vampires if you can help it, because they are the melee kings. We are all about the range, you know? Alright. Uh, so it's 20 to 26. I'm not completely out of it yet. Put down a firewall where I think these guys are coming. That guy's nearly dead. Please finish him off. Oh, for the love of God, are you serious? Alright, let's blind this guy. And then finish him off. There we go. 27 kills. They just about got it. And my team is not watching my back. They could just get this guy off me and it would have been no problem. I don't think his attack did any damage there when he was on top of me. It, sh it was supposed to, but... It's traditionally supposed to, but I it looked like I was staying at the health that I was at, which was very weird. All right, I'm going to try to replenish. Hopefully no vampires are stalking me right now. So, okay, speak of the devil. So he's blinded. Ah, so close. So, so close to getting that. That makes me super sad that that did not end up working out for us. Could probably melee to finish. Oh, no! <laughs> what the heck? All right, well, they're going to eke out the win. Uh, the, the clock is about to expire anyways, so they do have the lead. But uh, it, was, it was close. It was close. Now time to switch teams. All right, so now... We're going to switch on over to the Vampire team. And on the Vampire team, there are two classes that I have access to right now. All right, so there is the Reaver and the Tyrant. Now, I prefer the Reaver. We're going to start off with the Reaver, and then we'll switch up to the Tyrant uh, some, some way through. All right, here we go. So the cool thing about the Vampires is that we are very quick, quicker than the humans, and we can climb walls. Oh, yeah. So this makes it very easy for us to sort of sneak up on people. And there's also humans, uh, there's also vampires that can even fly. Uh, th now, the Reavers get the ability to pounce, which is very, very cool. Can basically jump on and lock someone down if you manage to hit them. Now, the thing is, you can get shot off of that, so you've got to be careful. Uh, I also have this smoke grenade, which will make it so that whoever, any humans in it can't see. And then we just melee people in the face, like that guy. I unfortunately got shot at the same time. Off to a fantastic start. Alright, so we can climb walls, jump on people, throw a smoke grenade. I also have my F ability, which will make it so that I dodge incoming attacks. So it's very nice. This 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 class right here is basically the, the get in, get out class. You want to sneak up on someone and then you want to run away as soon as they... Oh my gosh, he got me freaking... That's hilarious. Okay, no, I want to get away from this right now. This is not situation that I want to be in. It's not the ideal situation. I got my pounce in a couple of seconds. There's also a huge uh, l like lunge for your basic attack. So it allows you to very quickly catch up to people. Uh, when a human is down, you can also execute them, which will replenish your health, but it does make you vulnerable when, when you're doing, like when you're in the act, act of executing, so something to keep in mind. Like while you're going about executing, it's very easy for someone to just come up and shoot you, so. Uh, so really good with this class, again, to try to stay in the shadows and pounce. Get on top of someone when they're alone and when they don't... Because when, 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 when they're with friends, their friends can shoot them off you. Or shoot you off them. So that's what you want to... You want to try to pick off people in the back of the group or what have you. Uh, traversing is very easy because you just hold down shift and stuff is sort of done automatically for you. Gotta be careful when I'm hit with that bolo there. Whoopsie. 
Let's throw a smoke grenade. And then kill this guy. There we go. Gonna put on our thing so we don't get hit if they shot at us. Run away. Look at that. Just pick someone off. Now, most of the time, you're not gonna get a full kill. It's like a set amount of damage. You're not gonna get a full kill with it, but... You do take them out of the fight. Ah, shucks, almost got away. You do take them out of the fight, and you do quite a bit of damage. All right, so now we're going to switch up to the Tyrant. This is the fourth class. Charge, Ground Slam, Ignore Pain. Those are his, his abilities. Charge is with uh, right mouse button ability. Uh, Q is the Slam. F is Ignore Pain. Uh, can still climb walls. It feels slower to me. I don't know if it actually is. It feels like his mounting speed is a bit slower, though. I would almost hope that it is. I hope that he's not like as nimble as the other guys, you know? And then we just run in there, we slam Q, knock everyone on the ground, and then we'd punch people in the face. Oh, well, we ended up dying there, so that's sad. <laughs> I thought we had some more vamps in there. I thought that was a sure thing. I was like, oh, this is it's guaranteed. We're gonna, just gonna blow everyone up here. No, it didn't end up working out like that, did it? It's so cool being, not that there's no, there's like no games like this. There's a few, quite a few games like this, but I think they, they, they did a pretty good job of, uh, I don't know. Making it feel awesome. To play both sides, actually. I'm gonna go ignore pain. Can't attack when that's up, so. There she is. All right, let's try to knock her again. There it is, beautiful, beautiful! And that's a match. That is a match of Nosgoth, a uh, competitive asymmetrical multiplayer game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed taking a look at a bit of gameplay. I had some fun showing it off to you. I think it's a pretty fun game. I think it's all right. It's not bad. I picked it up for five bucks, especially. Or you can wait till it's free to play to give it a shot uh, once it gets out of early access. It's up to you. Do what you want. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a fantastic day. Keep watching and keep owning.